Hi everyone, welcome back to another video on my channel. I'm doing something completely random today. I know that the background is a bit busy, but I need to get some more card that is just plain, so we're just going to ignore that for this video. Um, so first things first, I'm going in with the Gel Box UK Build Gel in Tequila Rose. I'm going to use that as my base because it's a beautiful colour. Um, and I wanted something just quite neutral, but not really like nude, if that makes sense. This has got quite a nice... I don't really know how to explain it, like a nice pinky sort of undertone to it. But it's not pink, if that makes sense. Obviously you can see it, so I'm just going to let you judge it for yourself. But I'm just using it because it's going to go with the colours of the set that I'm doing. I'm not 100% sure what I'm actually doing with the set yet, but I will just work it out as we go along. See how it turns out. So it's quite thick because my room is quite cold at the moment. My heater is whirring, so if you can hear that noise in the background, it's a fan heater. Um, I only have it on for like about half an hour in the morning. It tends to warm the room up a bit, but because it's still cold in here at the moment, my gel is really thick, making it a bit more difficult to get a nice, even, self-leveled sort of effect, but it's fine. I'm going to go in with my detailer in a minute. I'm just making sure that there is some build gel all over the nail. I did look at my gel colours to see if I'd got a colour that I wanted as the base, but this one just stood out to me when I opened my drawer. So, going with that, I'm just going to run my brush through it to make sure it's nice and even. Pop any air bubbles that are going to be in the way. Look at it from the side to make sure it's nice and even to make my application of my gel polish design better. So I'm going to pop this in the lamp, I'm going to do the same on the other two and then we can come back to do the design together. Okay, so the last one is just curing. This is what it looks like. Such a beautiful colour. I absolutely love this builder gel. Let's just zoom, not zoom, let's focus on it for a start. There we go. So we've got two of those in the lamp just curing. The colours I'm going to be using in this set are... This one is from Jabbox UK as well. My discount code is in the description box. So let's definitely check that out if you want to get these subscription boxes. This is called Terracotta Orange. I'm not sure why my phone is having such difficulty. <laughs> there we go. This is Terracotta Orange. This is beautiful, beautiful orange colour. Perfect for spring and summer and autumn to be fair. It's an all year round of this one. Um, and then we've got the white, which is called the plastics, but they do have another white as well. I do use that sometimes, but the other one is like bright white, like really, really white. I always thought the white was just white until I put those two together and then it really baffled me that it could be so different. And then I'm going to use a Melody Susie one. Um, this is called Champagne Star. Champagne Star, that's it. Z159. I got this in a set from them a little while ago. Um, and this is what it looks like. Very, very beautiful. So I'm just going to get my palette, make sure that there's nothing on it that shouldn't be like any just glitter or anything because I use it all the time. So I'm just going to give it a wipe over. And then pop my colours on to my palette. It is Easter weekend this weekend. Uh, today, when this video goes up, hopefully will be Thursday. I'm filming it on Thursday morning. <laughs> so hopefully I can get it edited and uploaded ready for this evening. So this one isn't late as well as Monday's video that came on Tuesday. Um, but I'm filming a lot of videos this i'll just put my hand in that but i'm filming a lot of videos this weekend over the four days that i'm not at work um so if anyone's got any suggestions of what you want to see or anything like that i am planning on doing a more in-depth stamping um what's it called video my brain is going completely numb it must be baby brain so sorry um but yeah i'm planning on doing a full in-depth video of stamping because a lot of the times in my videos now i don't actually really show the stamping in great detail because I always felt like I used to show it all the time, but it's been that long since I have. Any new subscribers over the past like year or so probably haven't actually seen me stamp properly and really talk through it. So if anyone's got any issues they have with stamping that they want, oh gosh, that they want me to definitely address, um, then let me know and I can go over that in the video because I'm going to be filming it this weekend. And also I'm going to be doing a Q&A style video where I do just, I'm going to do nail art, I'm not going to sit and chat. Um, just face to face because it's very boring I will do something at the same time but I am going to be doing Q&A as well so if there's anything you want to know about my pregnancy about my new home about my new salon room about the dog like literally anything you can think of if you have any questions 
um, whether it's now related or personal, please let me know and I'll answer those in a Q&A. So I'm just going in with a swirl. I don't think swirls ever went out of fashion. I don't know what I slipped on there, but my pinky obviously wasn't very really stable. Um, but yeah, they just seem to come out of nowhere and not go anywhere. And people have them all year round. Perfect in spring in spring colours, summer in summer colours and so on. Like, you, you can't really go wrong with them. At Christmas, you can just add a snowflake to make it Christmassy. And like, Valentine's Day, you can add hearts. Spring, add some flowers. So, yeah, it's very versatile in my opinion. So I'm going to pop this one in. I haven't actually figured out what I'm doing on all of the nails yet obviously they all need to be pretty similar but i don't want them to be the same because we want to see something different for the video so that's that one the next one i'm going to do i think i'm going to do a thick white one on this one so the same sort of design of no i'm not going to do something completely different so we're going to do a white sort of swooping line on the free edge area like sort of like an abstract french This is my like go-to design, like this particular nail. If I'm doing a full set of a design for someone and they want me to pick and I've sort of done like however many nails I could think of and then I've still got a nail left and I don't really know what to do, I tend to just throw this one in because it goes with pretty much anything. I don't know why I just said anything when it definitely doesn't end in a K. <laughs> Things like that really annoy me when other people do it and now I'm doing it, how irritating. But yeah, so... This is definitely my go-to, it goes with everything. What are your pet peeves? Like little things that people do that really bother you. I have lots of them. I'm not vocal about them, like when people do it, I'm not one to tick at people and say like, oh that really annoys me. Like I will just keep quiet about it because it's no one else's uh, problem what annoys me a lot. <laughs> but let me know what yours are, I'm intrigued. And then this one, um, I, think I am going to do what I originally said that I was going to do for that one. I'm going to do a swirl with the white. I'm going to make the bottom of it a little bit thicker. And then make the top a little bit thicker as well. Sometimes I really like designs that I just think of on the spot and go for them. Other times, if I don't have a plan, it, I think sometimes it can be absolutely great and like work out really well and you think, thank God I didn't think it through too much because that's worked out brilliantly. But sometimes when I don't plan, it actually goes worse. And I think if I'd have put a bit of thought into that, like I'll, I'll do one part of the design and think that just doesn't go. And if I'd really thought about it, I'd have realised that it wouldn't have. So let's hope that this is one of those times where it's going to be the first option and it's going to be well worth not thinking about, but we'll see. So back to the original nail now, I've got this orange one. I think I'm going to do, see I want obviously white, orange and the gold colour on all of the nails so I need to make sure that I incorporate them all somehow but with the white I'm going to just do a relatively thin line but thick enough to see it down that swirl that we've just created someone is just getting out of their car outside my well not outside my house just in the close that I live in and unfortunately Bo still hasn't quite got a head around the fact that we are not the only people that live in the street. Bo is my dog, by the way. If you didn't know. So yeah, she likes to uh, basically have a bit of a whinge at anyone who arrives in the street. <laughs> Not necessarily at our house, just in the in the whole street in general. So. That's a bit of white in there. 
I'm going to pop that in the lamp as it is. I was going to make it into a proper swirl and make it a bit thicker and all that sort of stuff, but I'm not going to. I'm just going to keep it simple. I'm going to do the other nail first because I've got white on my brush. I'm not, oh, I don't need white anyway, so I can get rid of that now. <laughs> so I like to do everything all at the same time. If I've got lots of white to do on a set, I'll do all the white and then I'll clean my brush with that in the lamp and then do the next colour and so on. So I don't have to keep cleaning my brush after every single colour. So I'm going to go in with the orange now. And I'm going to do the same with this one. I'm going to outline it on the outside instead. I really love this orange. It's such a beautiful colour. And like I said at the beginning, like, it really is very versatile. You can get away with this colour all year round. Like you look at it now and you think it's lovely for spring. You'll look at it in the summer and you'll think that's really summer-like. I have done my white a bit thick. I'm not sure if you can see. There you can. Here. That's how you know you've done it too thick. It's not cured properly. But I definitely don't have the patience to fix it. So it's going to have to stay that way, I'm afraid. <laughs> um, obviously, if it was on a client, then you'd have to remove it because it's going to lift... I'm just going to make that top area just slightly thicker, like so, and then I'm going to pop that in the lamp, and then with this one, I'm going to outline with the orange again, like I just did with the last one. I'm planning on incorporating the gold in just a completely random way, like it's not really going to not going to outline anything it's not going to really make any sense i'm just going to create a random swirl basically not in the same direction as all the other of all the other swirls that i've done so it's completely random i'm doing this one quite thick just to set it a bit apart from the other nails because i want them all to be different like i said this brush that i'm using by the way in case anyone is wondering is just a cheap one um, it came in a set, I think it was like a six, oh I'll just smudge that in, not a smudge, I just moved by accident, so I'm just going to clean that up. But it came in a set from, that I got from, to, to, I think it was Timu, Temu, whatever you want to call it, I don't really care. Um, so yeah, that's where I got it from. Just cleaning this up because I have just messed up a little bit there. I'm just using this brush from Melody Susie. Taking off a bit more than I need to because I want to be able to do the line again to make sure it's nice and smooth and doesn't have brush strokes from cleaning up in it. There we go, that's much better. I'm going to pop that into the lamp. I need to learn to stop saying there we go so like dramatically because every time I say it the dog jumps up because she thinks that someone's here and I'm like oh here we go <laughs> obviously that's not what I mean she's constantly waiting at the door constantly I'll show you actually oh it's not as easy as I thought sorry I'm not going to show you I can't bother to take my phone out the holder <laughs> um but yeah she's always waiting at the door waiting for the next client to arrive it's really sweet it's really sweet when there is actually a client due to arrive but when there isn't it's really annoying because she wants to me to be working 24 7 whether I'm supposed to be or not I'll be sat in the living room watching TV at night time and she's begging to come in this room to do absolutely nothing, so I have to work. <laughs> right, so we're going in with the gold now. I'm doing something completely random, like I said, so I'm just going to create a random swirl, complete opposite to the swirls I've created with the other colours. Really, really random. like so i find it easier to do curved lines when i do a bit at a time instead of just going straight in with it i always just use the very tip of my brush as well but that's the sort of thing i'm going for so i'm going to pop that in just drop this one upside down that's handy that's fine and then with this one i'm gonna do the same thing I don't know why I decided to do this upside down, it's very random, but I suppose it's on, on theme with what we're doing, I guess. I'm not doing it perfectly to start with, I will just get some gold on there sort of thing, get the, uh, 
get the shape on and then go in after with a bit more product when I'm happy with where all the, the line is. This colour is absolutely beautiful, this Melody Susie one. And it's perfect for nail art because it's really, really pigmented. It's like really fine glitter, so it works really well for detail. So I'm going to pop that in the lamp now. I'm going to get the last one out and do the same with this one. Just going to create a random shape again. Just going straight in. And then I'm going to have to take a break from this video because my next client is due any minute. Obviously, I don't really need to tell you that. You won't know that I've took a break because I'll just pause and then be back again. There we go, that's that one, I'm going to put that in the lamp and then like I said, just need to nip, nip more, not really nip, I've needed a whole client and then I'll be back to finish the video. Okay, so I'm back to finish this video now, I've just finished the last client and I'm really struggling to figure out what to do. I was going to add something a little bit extra and I thought I'm probably not going to because I love how they turned out as they are and I'm really good at like adding extra and then wishing that I hadn't because it ends up me not liking them anymore. <laughs> but I am going to add extra because... It's very on brand for me to ruin them and then hate it and then have to just be annoyed that I've took it too far. But I'm going to do it anyway. So I'm just going to put, I had to get rid of the um, the colours off my palette because I needed the palette for my last client. But I'm just going to pop a little bit of each one back on there. Just a little bit. I think I'm going to add some dots because whenever I don't know what to do, I know it's blurry by the way and that will be fine when I pick a nail up. But um I, whenever I don't know what to do and I look at a set, there's always, always a way of incorporating dots <laughs> to improve the design. And I'm going to hopefully prove that theory and not mess them up. But I'm just going to get, I'm really sure I'm, to get I'm just going to get a dotting tool. I'm going to use a really small one like this and add some dots. So I think I want to add... Um, I don't want anything too crazy because I don't want to wish that I hadn't bothered. So let's just go with it. I think I'm going to do some orange ones down here. And then on this one, I'll do white ones along here. And on this one, I think I'll do some white down here and orange down there. That's what I'm going with. So let's start with this one with the orange just because it's the one I'm holding at the moment. And then I need the orange on this one. Just really small. I'm sorry if you can hear the dog making noises. She seems to think it's some sort of growl, but I wouldn't really call it that. <laughs> she does it whenever she hears anyone making any noise, basically, which is very, very frustrating. But never mind, she's not really bothered. <laughs> I'm just going to clean my dotting tool off so I can use the white. So I'm just going to pop some white dots on now. Just some really small ones. Like so. And then I'll put that in the lamp as well. Didn't even turn it on for the first one. And then some white ones, like I said, just at the top here. Like so. Very cute. Very minimal. That's what I was going for. I didn't want to go over the top. And then when they come out, I will top coat them quickly off camera and then show you what they all look like together at the end. So this is the finished design. I absolutely love how they turned out. Love this colour scheme as well. And I'm really glad that I chose that base for them because I think it goes really, really well with all the colours included. Like this orange is really just beautiful. I really love it. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so, so much for watching. And I'll be back soon with a, another video. Please do let me know if you have any in mind that you'd like me to 
do in specific, any recommendations or suggestions or any questions for the Q&A style video. Um, and I'll be back soon with another one. Bye.